Over the past 12 months, our compartment carriages mean we've been able to run COVID secure services for passengers on the Severn Valley Line. Now one of these is 829, it's behind me up here on the jacks and while we're not running, it's come to Kidderminster Carriage and Wagon for some much needed attention. I'm Nigel Hansen, I work in the carriage works at Kidderminster, I'm the team leader for the mechanical section. Carry 829, it's a Great Western Corridor 3rd, so it's a compartment coach which we've been using uh, regularly during the uh, current lockdown. It's built in 1947, it's operated on the Seven Valley Railway since the 1970s. We'd noticed that there was a bit of oil seepage from between the wheel and the axle where it's fitted together. So the coach was shunted out of the train in the carriage shed, brought into the carriage works. We've lifted it on the, the jacks and taken the bogies out and then dismantled the bogies and put some new wheel sets in, new wheel bearings, put it back on its wheels again and reassembled basically. The wheels that we've put in now, they're slightly different diameter to the ones that came out. You can adjust the springs to adjust the height of the coach, so when the train is made up with all the corridors connecting up, you don't want trip hazards in the corridors for when the people walk through. On the bogies, I've been uh, taking the brake rigging apart and steam cleaning it, so that includes the bow girders and everything. Uh, and then it's a case of cleaning it so it's rubbing faces are shiny and then uh, greasing it back and uh, putting it back together basically. While we're doing it we check for bushes that are falling out because we need the bushes for when the pins go back in. Commonly with this sort of stuff the bushes will either fail uh, as in they'll wear out um, or they'll fail as in they'll actually come loose within the hanger that's supposed to be in all the component. On this we've had two bushes fail so far and with it we had one of the pins that just seized in place basically so we'd made a new pin to fit. As part of it as well though with the spring hangers we had to take out, two of them we'd uh, found had failed due to a fatigue. So what we've done though is we took stock components off the shelf and we've changed them. Joy you can see a shiny new hanger behind me there. These were last overhauled in 2008 according to our paperwork. Um, and likewise, they won't be due for full overall for another eight years. So realistically, they haven't got a lot of wear. Uh, this coach traditionally didn't get a lot of use anyway because of the age of the coach. Uh, but due to the COVID-19 uh, pandemic, and it's a compartmenting coach, we've been using it a lot more over the past 12 months. With the bogies removed from the coach, you've got access all areas underneath to see all the steam heat pipe work. The heating is provided with steam from the steam engine to heat the coaches. It's important that the steam that goes in condenses to water by the time it comes out the other end of the radiator. So we've got a, a little boiler that produces steam. We can put the steam through the coach, check all the pipe work underneath the coach, but then also importantly, check that all the radiators in each of the compartments are working to their full potential. We need to do this work now when we're not operating because obviously taking a coach out of service during the normal running season poses problems if you haven't got a spare to replace it with. We need to make sure that the coaches that we're going to run the main service with, the three sets of compartment coaches, are you know in tip-top condition before we uh, start operating. I originally started on the railway as a volunteer just over 10 years ago now end of my A-levels I came and applied for our apprenticeship scheme which I got offered the uh, position. So it's the variety of job that appealed to me the most. One moment we're machining on a lathe, the next moment we're doing a casual to repair out on a train, the next moment you're doing a full intensive overhaul. When I first started here I had no idea of how much maintenance was involved with the carriages because you just think that they just run don't you? Straight away you see what's underneath the coach and how it runs and how it brakes and how the safety aspects are. So it's, it's, uh, you've got a lot to learn really when you first come into this department. I've been here for 30 years so I've, I've had an involvement in the whole fleet in various uh, levels of repair and overhaul. You can look at every carriage and think oh yeah I did that to that or I changed the wheels in that and I've put new springs on that so it, you, you, can, uh, you can relate to all of them. A lot of the people my age don't want to do this sort of engineering unfortunately. It's hard work but it feels good when it goes out and runs again. 
when you have one of these coaches come in and you get a full you then start to look and you don't know what you're going to find as well. So when you get to the end of the process, it's, it's a good sense of achievement. In another couple of weeks, 829 will rejoin its chocolate and cream companions out there on the Seven Valley Line as we start our 2021 season. I hope you'll be able to get back to the railway soon or at least join us here on the SVR's official YouTube channel. Mm -hmm.